A taste of sin is showing on Netflix. Please do well to watch. Gollywood, now for another wake up. Praise Jesus. <laughs> A Ghanaian brothers and sisters. <laughs> I'm glad you people are back. Because I'm Miss Chell. Now, this is how you make... A big comeback i must say i am very much impressed with this movie they had a little bit of setbacks but that is not the point point is we are going to give accolades where it is due a taste of sin is a movie about faith a movie about god steadfastness it's a movie about retribution temptations if you don't necessarily know the bible you're not going to settle where we see you like what is happening this movie just goes to show that eh, when it comes to god you cannot predict for him you cannot think for him. Man plans, God loves. It was fantastic. My Ghanaian brothers and sisters, you are welcome back to the fold. <laughs> Even I give us one once in a year, no problem, we'll go manage. <laughs> Suckers. Ooh, the stare of the show. Oh, James getting up, baby. He played a pastor in this movie. So for that, let's change this photo because I'm not going to concentrate. <laughs> this is more like it. <laughs> I will say James Gardner is... Uh -uh. You know, bad. He was so good. He was in character. His demeanor, his voice control, perfection. I love how he came through. Ghanaian is the vex. Played the pastor, and Baba just ate the forbidden fruit once. He just decided to just give in to the temptation of the flesh just once. He hooked up for truth. I want to talk about this movie where she was saying she doesn't understand how, after all he did, God still forgave him. He still carried on with life as if nothing happened. No. After he committed the sin that he committed, he paid for his crimes. He accepted holy that, yes, but God, I fucked up. Please forgive me. Please accept me back. I'm nothing but made of flesh and bones. I am still your son. I'm... Yeah, that was actually what happened. And God sees the heart of everybody. God saw his heart and saw that he has repented. And he forgave him and brought him back to the fold. That is God for you. Sin 70 times, 77 times, he going to forgive you. He's my man and I'm a stick beside him. <laughs> the reason why she stuck beside her man, even with what he had done, is because she saw in his eyes he really is sorry. That was the reason why she forgave her husband. The man was truly sorry. And she saw that. Where she won't go, Pano? Okay, your confess not do what? When you already know your situation, I think that also played a big role in this. Jackie Appia, I don't think what's here for movie. And it was it was okay. She was mommy Jill. No, this was a good watch. You should definitely watch. A taste of sin. Like I said, it's a faith-based movie. It goes to show that there is nothing impossible for God. He's unshakable, unmovable, untouchable. He said, hold up, hold up. Doctor's report where you are my child, you shall not suffer. <laughs> That's what God said to her. <laughs> my Ghanaian brothers and sisters, now this on a try, on a try. Don't wait for another 10 years now before people give us another one. My did my case character confused the shit out of me. His character is symbolic to like the pastor. They'll be using the name of God to loot their congregation. What I'm trying to understand with my case character is, is how does he relate to that of James Gardner's and his wife, Jackie Appia? That is just my question. Because they made it seem as though they had a hand in what happened to James Gardner. Because why did they now call Jackie Appia to the hospital? Why did the wife see Jackie Appia in the vision? He did he set James Gardner up? It's so many unanswered questions. It's as if they edited like three scenes out of the movie. It was just blank. Now, my did my care, this man, there's something wrong with you. Feel that if it's actually a pastor, so this role fits right in. The way this man was acting this movie, I'm sorry if I use psychopaths. He was he was too good. It's a cause for alarm. Because how dare you be that fantastic, sir? No, no, no. Why? For what reason? One. How did they pay yourself? <laughs> He was perfect. He was always in character. He didn't shift. It was so impressive. Like this man had me glued to my screen. He gave us a performance in A Taste of Sin. He was character just goes to show that God could also look you. could also cross legs. Don't look you. Don't look you. No, no, no. Continue fooling yourself before thinking that you are almighty. But the day God could get your time, God showed him that I am the Alpha and the Omega and nothing but rubbish under my feet. Yes, that's what God showed him. <laughs> Watch A Taste of Sin. You're actually going to love it. But Michael's performance was mind-boggling. Not blowing, you know. Boggling beautiful now this is what you call main character energy this is what you call an a lister mm. she is sister to juliet ibrahim which makes a lot of sense because you went and saw this girl in this movie i was like what is this girl doing in this film her acting was poor it was but she's pretty very pleasant to look at but her acting was horrible her flesh was the forbidden fruit she didn't necessarily do too much but what i'm trying to understand is what she planted like is that how her story ended is there something else? It, it just seemed as if it was planned. But it turned out that it wasn't. Secondly, how did she just agree to go on with the pastor's plans? Number three, the conversation she had with Majid, why did they make it seem as if there was something more to it? Number four, 
What did she do for this movie? <laughs> it's beautiful, but her acting didn't match her face. Kofi Ajelolo is a legend. He is one of the best Nollywood and Gollywood actors. His poise and his charisma. <laughs> he played the big daddy. Like I said, it's a faith-based movie. It was calming. That's the word. He was so relaxed. This rich man of God that have God on speed die. They don't have anything to worry about because God got them. That was the character he was emoting. That was what I was getting. I love how we portray this character. This is how it should be done. The spiritual leaders are supposed to guide you. Even when you fall off, not turn their back against you. It was fantastic. It was beautiful. It was brilliant. Watch a taste of sin. You're going to absolutely love it. You're welcome. Immediately I saw this babe with cleavage. I'm like, pastor wife with cleavage, there's gonna be a problem. <laughs> the pageant girl, very beautiful, drop dead gorgeous. She played the wife to Madi. They were running the church business. She was cashing out the cray. I don't even know who was corrupting who. The mama just wanted to be living La Vida. You know, consign her. Ask the church that the Lord said they should bring one million naira each. It's, it's tight. If you don't bring it, the Lord will not bless you. Say yeah, say yeah. The church was no, not the sooner pastor wife. No, bring another man said there's something of my pastor wife was on a cleavage. That one was number one red flag. So thanks, me had to open my eye now. What's the soap? <laughs> that main beautiful. My Ghanaian brothers and sisters. Now so they do for dear. When I'm mother alone, I saw they nice. So this woman finds out what she finds out about her. Uh, son's wife and she didn't lose her shit like she was so calm she was even being respectful she was trading with caution i trust my nollywood mamas eh eh you cannot do this i am my son's house no 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 you don't go home pack they go come on be going like that <laughs> <laughs> i've loved this woman right from time she's been a goddess a gorgeous gorgeous woman and she played jim gardner's mother and jackie apia's mother-in-law I am a born Catholic. The one thing I always appreciate is when the scripture is being preached. It gives me joy. When this man started speaking, he played like the overseer. He's actually a real bishop. When he started speaking and preaching, I'm like, there's no way this man is an actor. The other thing about this movie is that they gave us luxury. Church, money day inside the business. <laughs> When I saw this man's office, I'm like, there's no way this is a set. It's not possible. There's no way they are that detailed. In church that they use in filming this movie is his actual church. This man's play with words. It's not a video that you're watching. Mwah, mwah, mwah. No, no, no. Watch God all small today. Ah, they don't do you. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it.